Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no sit down and talk. So, as you know, probably know, hope you know, I've been away for five weeks traveling South Korea and Japan, and I'm still trying to adjust to life here back in Portugal. I bought loads of stuff, so here I am sitting down today to show you all my purchases. Hope you have time because, yeah. It's a lot. Japan and Korea are like the worst for me as a shopaholic. I love clothes, I love anime, I love makeup, I love skincare, I love accessories. Oh, I really love food also, so let's just start there. If I showed you one by one snacks, we're gonna be here forever, but... <laughs> I brought two luggage One for me, one for my boyfriend Going in on this trip, knowing it's gonna be five weeks I tried to pack it all in one luggage for each of us And we came back with four And half of it was snacks, snacks were very heavy Second, clothes So, Japan and Korea, perfect places for fashion Perfection So, let's start with Korea What did I bought clothes-wise? in Korea. I went to this um, thrift shop and it was in Myeongdong. I found this really cool joggers from uh, Nike. In case you don't know, I dance like hip-hop and I have so much trouble finding really baggy pants for my dance classes. Of course in Korea they have like really cool pants. They are also really good dancers so I'm wondering if that's the reason. Next thing that I purchased in the same thrift shop were these cargo, cargo camo shorts. I purchased a bag in Korea, which is a Hello Kitty bag. Look at how cute. I'm a huge Hello Kitty fan. Although Hello Kitty is from Japan, um, I was really excited to find a lot of Hello Kitty stuff in Korea too. So, clothes from Japan. Japan has the most amazing trip shops. Shimo Kitazawa that's like a drifting heaven and besides that I have these shops from the top of my head I remember 2nd street and Modov which are really good at Shimo Kitazawa I purchased this Megadeth t-shirt then red socks so cool this tie-dye I love how oversized it is I also use this type of shirt a lot for my dance classes. I also purchased this Astro Boy t-shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> These three t-shirts. They were all, I think, thirty dollars each. All right. Something else that I forgot to say in the beginning of the video is that me being from Portugal, I get tax exemption on this. So mostly all of this. I think it's above a certain amount that you get tax free, but it's like tax free is usually ten percent off. So really good. Uh, besides the red socks t-shirt, I bought like a bunch of uh, jerseys. So this one was really cool. It's not like from a sports team, but it's from uh, Carl Cunny. Although it's a brand that here is expensive, believe it or not, this one, it, it was like six bucks. I was like, I need to get this. So I did. I think this one was from Modov and it's brown, which I think is a little rare because usually uh, jerseys have really bright colors. So this being all brown, I think it's so easy to style and very fresh for summer. Now this one uh, is probably my favorite from the three of them. I really love it. This is from the same store that I found in Shimokitazawa, which is called Desert Snow. From that same shop, Here's a funny story. I bought these shirts and I was thinking and dreaming about these pants from Wu Tang Clan. Um, and they were a little expensive. I went to Shimoku Tazawa like on the first days that I arrived in Japan. So I was still like very apprehensive to spend a lot of money because I was staying in Japan for an entire month. But truth is that I kept on dreaming about the pants. So lucky me, on the final day, in Japan, I went to Shibuya and I saw the Desert Snow, which was the same store that I saw them in Shimokitazawa. So I entered the store, they weren't the camo ones, but they had the jeans version of them. 
They say Wu-Tang Clan in orange, like a big patch. They are so baggy, they are so 90s, so e-pop. I'm really happy and they seem really good condition. So I found this really cute dress. It's like lingerie, kawaii. Something else that I thrift was this Kangol beret. And I'm a huge fan of barrets and hats and accessories. I love these colors, so of course I had to buy it. But I bought this new one in white, which is not from Kangol, but from Treasure. I was so surprised, I never saw a Treasure Barrett. Maybe it just never, never appeared in front of me, but I was so surprised, I was like, what? I think I only have one more like clothing, fashion thing that was thrifted, which is this diesel bag. It's a really cool washed out diesel Fanny pack. This, by the way, was like uh, 20 bucks or less. Really happy with this purchase. I bought this Supreme t shirt. The Supreme is a dope skater brand. I think it's very, very overpriced. But for this t shirt, I, I really wanted to have something from Supreme um, Tokyo. I also purchased a Treasure t shirt. I tried to skate before, I even own a skate, but I'm like so hard for me. We found these like boxing shorts at um, RVCA. The last clothing item that I will show you, but my favorite, it's very dear to my heart. I love Ebisu. Ebisu is a Japanese brand. Usually when you buy Ebisu from other countries, the logo is printed, while on Osaka shop, they will paint it for you. I was only in Osaka for like three days, so I already knew that it was gonna be a little impossible to do it there but I went to Ebisu Tokyo in hopes to find the same system and I did I'm like screaming inside I feel like they are so unique I don't, I don't never saw them anywhere um, so yeah, it feels good sometimes to have something custom made and yeah, this is the most expensive clothing item that I purchased in Japan, but I think it's so worth it. I purchased a big magazine that came with this little bag. The thing is like, it's a magazine for kids, but it came with this really cool bag that has Milo. Milo is a um, vape, um, like logo and icon, and it's like a little ape, obviously. And since we're talking about Milo, <laughs> This is my favorite purchase from the entire trip. Both Korea and Japan all put together. This is my favorite purchase. Say hi to Milo. Next thing, Aruta shoes. Aruta loafers to be more precise. So Haruta is like a brand that is very well known in Japan for their shoes and more specifically shoes for like work and school. So you'll see a lot of girls and boys in their school uniforms and they are mostly i think 90 percent of the time wearing haruta shoes i bought this in korea i bought two different sizes these are like little containers for your home decor so my idea is to put plants in here and i think it looks really dope next my poshita <laughs> Let me just show you how many pochitas I got on this trip. First one that I got, I got this from the claw machines. Pochita number two, claw machine, a lot of attempts, okay? My mind is so blank, I don't remember where I purchased this one, but she's so cute. You can put it on like a shelf and the little feet will fall off the shelf, which is so cute. And pochita number four is so tiny. It's so cute, you can hang it on your like keys or whatever. I got this really cool Lawson sign and it has a light. I think I need to put some batteries, but it gives you like a small reading ambient light. We also got this super cute guy from Seoul, Korea. Next we have Yumda. Yumda is this really cool rapper from Korea. He makes some noise. So yeah, really cool. Also, both in Japan and in Korea, you have uh, shops from Pop Mart. If you don't know, it's like these collectible items, really cool. This one comes with a little gun and his helmet. 
This one is my favorite. Me and my boyfriend are huge cyberpunk aesthetic. You can remove the little helmet. And here he is. We also got this Shinchen. Uh, it's like a key ring. These two cuties we got from Japan. My boyfriend also purchased this one. I'm a huge uh, Matrix lover. So I found this. That one has the blue peel and the other one has the red peel. I also got this super cool figure from Tokyo Revengers and this one was actually the one that I won uh, at the claw machine. So he was my lucky strike, first try, I was so happy. Also got this figurine from a claw machine, this is Demon Slayer. Remember I told you about um, Modoff, which is uh, a place where you can buy secondhand clothes. There's also from the same branch one that is called Hobby Off. And this one you can buy like hobby stuff, so toys and uh, games and all for really cheap prices. So I went there and I found her! Isn't she the cutest thing you ever saw? I'm so happy to put this on my house, she's like in such a cute position. I also purchased some band-aids, Hello Kitty shape, of course, I bought a bunch of Hello Kitty Stuff. I also bought these clips from Don Quixote and they also had this version that had like um, crystals got myself a Hello Kitty repellent bracelet <laughs> also in Daiso I got this coloring book started coloring it at the plane in my flight home and this is how it's turning out, so cool little souvenirs a little deer from Nara we have uh, Super Mario, we have Zobby that we bought at Universal, we have a tiny cast and tiny sojus from Korea that come with a tiny cup, Dragon Ball, phone grips with Chin Chan and candy, also two Rilakumas that I purchased and this really cute pink bear, also got this really cool board that has hiragana and katakana for you to um, write it down on top of it so you can start learning it. I really want to improve my Japanese. Something else that I almost forgot to show you was this rug. I purchased the rug in Korea <laughs> from this cat that I never saw in my life. Last category that I want to show you is skincare and makeup. First in Korea I got this Dr. Jart moisturizer and it's really good. I've been using it since I got to Korea and so almost ending which I'm really sad. I'll try to find it here but it's really good so I recommend. Also people were speaking really well about this Japanese uh, cleansing foam. So I purchased it and I've been using it and um, it's actually really good. <laughs> Also got this powder, makeup powder from Japan that is supposed to cover all your pores. This mascara is also very famous in Japan, so I also bought it, haven't tried it yet. But this foundation is like a cushion foundation from Lily by Red. And this one I got in Korea. It's really hard to find darker foundation shades, so they usually only have two, sometimes three. Also purchased these two blushes. This one from Lily by Red, and this one is called Fazio. Got these little sparkles called Colorgram. Also bought a bunch of uh, lipsticks I can share with you later. And last thing I want to show you is this thing, which is super cool. I bought this in Japan, and they use it a lot. I see girls on the train using it, so. Um, they basically do like an up tool like I, I done today and then they use this to glue the little hairs so you don't have like hairs hanging around like the baby hairs and it works so well it's not like sticky as gel and it's so easy you can have it on your bag and just put it up without having like to put water and gel so so genius they have so many genius products there i wish we have it here so yeah guys that was it me and my poshita are out hopefully you like everything that i purchased i might have forgot something because i still have stuff to unpack and yeah see you on the next one don't forget to subscribe or me and my poshita will hunt you down